What's going on guys? Multiverse Corrupt here with yet another action figure review video and today we're having a look at Blue Beetle and Booster Gold 2-Pack from McFarlane Toys. As always guys, starting off this video we are looking at the McFarlane packaging and this one is of course elongated for both figures and it has DC Multiverse down here in the middle and then Blue Beetle and Booster Gold down at the very bottom. Going over here to the side, guys, we have Blue Beetle and Booster Gold from Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, Blue and Gold. Flipping over here to the back side, we have a comic image of Blue Beetle and Booster Gold running from a bunch of different villains back here, just chasing them, looking scared beyond belief. I think that is absolutely hilarious. Saw that for the first time, got a little laugh out of me. Going over here to the other side, guys, we do have Blue Beetle and Booster Gold's name with DC Multiverse up here at the top. Nothing at all going on at the top up here. And then down here at the bottom, of course, is the wonderful barcode for you barcode guys. With all that said, guys, let's go ahead and rip Blue Beetle and Booster Gold out of the packaging and see how they look. Michael John Carter, a college football star of the 25th century who earned the nickname Booster on the field. Even though people assured him a professional career of fame and fortune was in his future, he decided he couldn't wait and, and wagered on his own games. The scandal ruined his dreams and reputation. Taking a job as a security guard in the Metropolis Space Museum, Mike saw another opportunity after studying the early ages of superheroes. With future and alien technology stolen from the museum and a time machine that was on display, he realized he could not only become a superhero himself in a past era where his criminal history was unknown, but he could also make his good deeds profitable. Theodore Cord over the course of a century, three different men from very different backgrounds have taken on the heroic mantle of Blue Beetle, each making their mark in different ways. The original Beetle was an archaeologist named Dan Garrett, who discovered an ancient scarab in an old Egyptian tomb that gave him superpowers, which he used to fight crime. He was succeeded by the brilliant Ted Cord, who had no powers to speak of, but carried on the Blue Beetle legacy with just his wits and his fists along with a whole lot of gadgets and a sharp sense of humor. So right here, guys, is Blue Beetle and Booster Gold out of the packaging on their little dual stand here. And he even comes, Booster Gold comes with his little pal, Skeets, down here. I am actually glad that they included him. He was not left out. I will say, though, with my first-hand impressions, though, guys, I'm a little disappointed. Past their face sculpts, in terms of detail, there's nothing else going on with these figures. It is just paint that is all this is there is no design within their uniform that you can feel there is no detail that really pops on this figure they did the face sculpts the body molds and then the rest is just paint little bummed out from that aspect with all that said though guys let's go ahead and get these two off of the rotating turntable and see the accessories that they come with <laughs> In terms of accessories, guys, what Booster Gold and Blue Beetle come with, starting off, as always, is the standard McFarlane base. And they both do come with these, but I'm only going to include one because it is the same thing, just DC stamped right there on the front and the foot peg off to the side. Going down here to the trading card, guys, we have Blue Beetle right here with a comic image with his little beetle type vehicle that he's rappelling up to or rappelling out of i'm not really sure what that is i don't think i've ever seen that before in my life but we do have blue beetle right here looking absolutely amazing from his comic image and flipping over here to the back is this read up for blue beetle if you want to pause the screen and read it right now going over here to the other trading card guys we do have booster gold in action kind of just showboating and i do like how in his gauntlets you can see batman and robin i do think that that is a nice touch going over here to the back side guys is the read up if you want to pause the screen and read it right now now of course guys jumping into what i'm going to say is the most detailed piece of this review it is the dual base stand that they come with and it has a bunch of loose wires hanging around and there's some wrenches on there and it's just kind of a mess really if you look at it but it is the most detailed only on the top though once you flip it over to the bottom just straight plastic i will say i'm not going to include him as an accessory but you do have skeets 
for booster gold and he just pegs right into this side here until you hear that satisfying click flipping around this way and then there you have him looking as adorable as ever when it comes to the other accessories that they come with though guys right here for booster gold he does have his little repulsor wrist i'm not really sure too much about booster gold i don't really look at him as a superhero more of just the comic relief in anything and everything that he's in because he's just the jokester so i don't really see him as one of the important heroes but he does have this little blaster effect going on here and then of course he does come with his little tiny cell phone and it is very small so be very careful and it's not a soft plastic it is a hard plastic so do not snap this or try to strain this in any way shape or form Going over here to Blue Beetle's accessories, he comes with the least amount. This little grapnel gun with a beetle on the end of it. I don't know if it's supposed to like stick to the wall. I don't really follow this Blue Beetle at all. I do know he is a classic, but I am more into the newest one. I'm blanking on his name right now, but I will put an image of him right here for you guys with all that said now guys let's go ahead and get away from the accessories and see that lack of detail when it comes to detail guys right here we have blue beetle front and center and his face sculpt is actually very well his eyes do bug out and his face does have a little bit of detail for his mask up here with these black lines going up i do have a little bit of a paint mistake up here on his forehead though just something minor, doesn't really stand out, but you can really see it right here when he's up close. For the rest of his body mold, guys, this is all he comes with. It is all painted. There is no detail throughout, and I really would have loved to see this stick out and actually be able to fill the lines within his suit but i guess they just kind of made this a filler suit because i have seen all the posts on instagram that mcfarland toys has been doing and they are coming out this year with a lot of different figures that look absolutely fantastic so i'm not really sure where the love went on these two guys but they are just the lackluster of the bunch with all that said though guys, let's go ahead and transition over to Booster Gold. Now as for the detail with Booster Gold, it is the same old song and dance with him. They did all they could for his face and definitely his hair, but there's nothing else for the body. There's nothing else going on. I do like the goggles, I do like the hair, although I would have went with a different color for the hair. On camera here, it doesn't really do it justice, it matches this color here for you guys but from what i'm looking at right now if you already have this guy it is a yellow and i'm talking yellow yellow going down to the rest of his body sculpt guys there is no detail in him whatsoever and it, it's kind of a bummer you know they do all this work for a batman figure to make the bat symbol on his chest protrude out something you can feel his star is just painted on there i will say it is a nice paint up of the star very straight lines there but that it is just paint. There is no detail. I really do love it when they have detail. But it's just paint, so it is a bit of a bummer. With all that said, though, guys, let's go ahead and move away from the detail and see the articulation, the size, and the size comparison. Now, for how tall these figures stand, guys, both figures do stand at the 7-inch scale. In terms of articulation, let's go ahead and take him off the base and move him closer to the camera. His head articulation, Blue Beetle does look up all the way, and he looks down all the way. He's on that ball joint, so he rotates his head all the way around and has beautiful head tilt. His butterfly joints are extremely loose. As you can see here, I can rotate it around no problem, and his arm goes out about that far. He does, of course, have some bicep swivel, but they are a little tight, so I would be careful. He, of course, has double-hinged elbows, and his wrist does come with the hinge and peg. I will say the joints on these figures both do feel very loose. They feel very cheaply made. So I would be careful when posing these guys up, especially if you buy them for the play factor. As for his ab crunch, his ab crunch does go forward about that far and it goes back about that far. His waist does rotate all the way around and his legs kick out. They kick back. But this one here is a little lackluster due to the rubber buttocks. 
back here. His knees are, of course, on that double hinge as well. And his ankles, they do articulate down. They articulate up. He has toe articulation and that beautiful ankle. As for Booster Gold, guys, he is pretty much just an identical twin to Blue Beetle. He stands at the 7-inch scale. When it comes to his articulation, let's move him closer and take him off the base. He also looks up all the way, and he looks down all the way. He is also on that ball joint so he rotates all the way around and has the beautiful head tilt his butterfly joints also are extremely loose but his arms do go up about that far they rotate all the way around and he does have bicep swivel and this one is not as tight as blue beetles he of course does have the double hinged elbows and his wrist on the hinge and peg joint his ab crunch has him go forward about that far and goes back about that far his waist does rotate all the way around as well and his legs kick out and they kick back and for him he kicks back actually a lot more than blue beetle does his rubber butt does not get in the way he does of course have double hinged knees and his ankle articulation he goes down he goes up, he has toe articulation, and he of course has the beautiful ankle pivot. When it comes to size comparison, guys, here we have Booster Gold and Blue Beetle next to the Man of Steel himself. And I don't know about you guys, but I can really see the quality difference in these three figures. I do think that they really went the cheap route for Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, which is very disappointing. Right here guys, we have Booster Gold and Blue Beetle standing next to the Alpha Predator from NECA Toys. And then of course right here we have Blue Beetle and Booster Gold standing next to Marvel Legends Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. Another action figure review video in the books on my channel for you guys to enjoy. When it comes to Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, I'm going to have to give them both a solid four and a half out of 10. I do not really like these figures. I think they are okay. They're nice to have in the collection, but I just feel like they were placeholders that McFarlane just rushed out and threw out here for everybody to have. I don't really enjoy these at all. They're just painted. There's no detail, no love at all. I can't stress it enough. As if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. I really do love reading your guys' comments. And I will see you in the next video. Later.